to my trunk. I'm Chris. This is Chris's Crafty. And as some of you may know, um, if you follow my shorts channel or my TikTok or my Instagram, you may know that I may have a problem with advent calendars. And I may have opened all of them in every single one of these over the last, you know, 24 days or so. Who's counting? And it amounted to all of this stuff. So today, what I want to do is actually go through and organize. So organize first. We got our Vertessa calendar, items, our mini brands foods, and our mini brands toys. We have two acrylic markers, a really nice looking premium eight round brush, three alcohol markers. Oh, there's another acrylic paint marker that I missed. We have three glitter gel pens, one white gel pen, a watercolor brush, three acrylic tubes, and three gouache tubes, two fabric paints, three acrylic uh, bottles, three watercolor ones. I would say it's a pretty good haul, especially because I haven't tried the acrylic watercolor yet. I haven't tried Arteza paintbrushes. I do have acrylic paint. I do have uh, the thicker paint markers. So I do have alcohol markers, but I haven't tried their pens of any variety or their gouache or their 3D fabric paint. I'd say it's a pretty good mix. This section is for a different video. Today, we're gonna go through and see if opening those is actually a good idea. So, we'll start with the toys. We have a dino thing. I could have gotten a super rare. Oh wait, it is a super rare. It's gold. There we go, one super rare. I have probably a common balloon launcher thing. Number 99, metallic slime, that's gotta be rare. Number 23, a Rubik's Cube. Ah number 25. Robo Alive, which this toy is at all proportional. Like, I'm extremely curious. Robo Alive, number 101. We have a Frisbee, number 35. We have Raphael, the Ninja Turtle, right there, number 43. Chucky, number 53. Oh, it would have been really cool to get the... I forgot his name. Uh, Ren... See the red or stimpy? We have the golden llama right here, number 12. We have a slime cotton candy, number 92. The golden Patrick, super rare. Bunch of balloons, which I believe is the green one, number 97. SpongeBob in a car, itty bitty pretties cup, yep, number four. We have a yellow car, number 94. We have a robo fish, just number 108. Fingerling. I could have gotten Aang. Oh, I'm mad. Number 62, Raphael's, um, I don't remember what they're called, weapons. Number 46, SpongeBob with glasses. Number 70, with JoJo, her head. 76, a potion, a slime potion. 
number 91. Finally, we have Dora the Explorer microphone. Number 82. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 22. 23. And of course, I accidentally put these in the food section, which is Rainbow SpongeBob. A lot of SpongeBob in this. I'm not I'm not that pleased. There's number 67 and a untamed baby T-Rex, which is number 64. Could have gone in. That would have been nice. Is this a good haul? I guess it's okay. I guess. Now what did it promise? It promised six exclusive minis. Did I get six exclusive minis in here? Let's see, I got the itty bitties. I got the golden dinosaur thing. I got golden Patrick, golden llama. Actually, it's possible that this might glow in the dark. And metallic slime, which is five. And if this glows in the dark, then I did get six. And if this isn't the other thing, then, um, I mean, on one hand, it sucks that I bet I, everybody might have gotten this. I really don't know how they differentiated between the different boxes. Moving on, on to the food. According to this, the blue ones are the ones that are in the 24 pack. So I should have a golden icebreaker, a glow in the dark royal jello, a metallic Hershey strawberry syrup, watermelon Jolly Ranchers, which is a common, biscuits, also a common. I think that's it. Oh, and the York. So apparently three commons are also exclusives, which makes no sense to me. And I'm kind of disappointed. I have golden crisps. Number 45, Love Hearts by Swizzler. Number 48, Teddy Grahams. Number 37, Swizzler's Chew Crew. Number 28, The Dum Dums Basket, which is kind of my favorite, or bucket. Number 91, I have a Pez. It's not this Pez, it's number 74. Jolly Ranchers, Fruity Bash. Never heard of those, to be honest. Number 25, Otter Pops, Tropical. Number 57, Holy Guacamole Classic, 88. This, I believe, is the Glow in the Dark, which actually I'm not gonna mark it until I confirm it, but I'm gonna put a little line. Bar, number 27, Chupa Chops, the best of. Number 97, Hershey's Special Dark. Number 18, Jolly Ranchers Hard Candy. Number 24, New York Peppermint Patties. Number 26, Mom's Best Cereals Crispy Cocoa Rice. Number 46, Mr. Good Bar. Number 20, Barnum's Animal Crackers. Number 42, Triscuits, the other exclusive. Number 41, the Metallic Hershey Syrup. Number 12, Super Sour Double Drops, which I've never seen before. Number 90, uh, Icy Squeeze. Also never seen this before. Number 34, and finally the Golden Icebreakers, which I believe was uh, yesterday's poll. Oh, and it's also not the last thing. I forgot. Warheads all mixed up. Golden Icebreakers, number three. Warheads, number 93. It promised six exclusive minis. Did I get six exclusive minis? Technically, am I happy with the six exclusive minis? Not really. Triscuits? Really? Like, why, why is this exclusive? Golden Icebreakers, pretty cool. I like that a lot. I like the holographic metallic Hershey syrup bottle. That's pretty cool. I love this. It's not an exclusive, but I super love this. How cute. It's a little container of guacamole or whatever they put in it, actually. To be honest, it's not as thrilling as I thought it would be. You get mostly commons and I got mostly bags, which are just... They're not really fun. They're plastic with foam inside. Like, I love this. This is incredible. This is awesome. This, this is a Pez, a tiny Pez. You know, I like these actual, I mean, the boxes are okay, but these actual kind of containers, those are great. And the boxes, you have to be so careful because there's nothing inside them. There's absolutely just, you know, this, I guess, to prevent them from crushing, but how's that gonna help? In conclusion, 
this was a lot of fun, to be honest. This was, this was a lot of fun. Opening advent calendars, getting a new little thing, you know, that little rush of joy if something was cool. Am I gonna get these again next year? Probably not. Do I still like mini brands? Yeah, sure. What do I do with them? You just wait and see. I've got some ideas. And um, hopefully you'll be as satisfied as I will be. Cause I'm gonna get a lot of practice with these. Do I wanna try a new advent calendar next year? Oh, absolutely. So here's my question to you. What do you think about these? Do you think it was worth getting? Collecting all these? Food stuffs, toy stuff, art supplies? Would you have gotten all three? Would you have gotten just one? If just one, which would you have preferred to get? Did you get any outfit calendars this year? Do you want two next year? And if so, for either of those questions, what are you gonna get? Please share in the comments down below because I really wanna see what else is out there. It used to be just chocolate. <laughs> used to be just those little cheap grocery store ones or whatever. And now there's things like this. I've heard there's Legos. I've heard there's Build-A-Bear. Like, that's, that's crazy to think about. So let me know. Which advent calendars are we going to do next year? I hope you all have a wonderful and Merry Christmas. I'll see you in the new year. Bye.